once declare the power in you, in you, the heaven, declare you a God, the heaven, declare the power in you, in you, the heaven, declare you a God. The power in you, in you, the angels declare you a God. Creator of heaven and earth, the altar and furniture of my faith. You're the owner and giver of life, oh, my hope for ages to come. Heavens declare the power in you, in you, the heavens declare. You are God, the heavens declare the power in you, in you, the heavens declare you are God, the angels declare the power in you. The angels declare you a God. Hello everyone and welcome to the month of August. It's your girl Sydney here for another PBC service. I hope everyone's summer is going well and those who aren't celebrating summer, I hope your days are going well. Um, if you want to drop below where you're coming from today, I would very much appreciate that. I'll give you a few moments to do so. Great. Okay, awesome. All right, everyone, now let's quieten our hearts for a moment of worship and prayer. Recording. Praise the Lord. Can you guys believe it's already the month of August? That's like, I can't even believe how fast the year has gone by. 
but it is only the grace of God that has kept us thus far. So we'll be going into a session of prayer and thanksgiving as we start the service today. The Bible says in Psalm 124 that if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord who had not given us a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. We're just going to pray with that scripture and we're just going to thank God for keeping us and preserving us till this month of August. So many things are happening in the world. Every day you hear one news, one tragedy or the other. Let's just thank God that somehow, through His grace, somehow, Him being by our side, we have been kept and we have been preserved. Father Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you for seeing us through the month of August in the year of 2022. We know it is by your grace and we know it is by your mercies. And we know that it is because you have been on our side that we have been preserved. We are so grateful, Lord, for your mercies. We thank you, Lord God, that we have not been consumed by sickness. We've not been consumed by fire. It has not been too hot for us. It has not been too cold for us. We thank you, Lord God, that the waters have not washed us away. We thank you, Lord God, that the rains have not fallen higher than, 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 than the sea. We give you praise, Lord. We give you glory. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that the hurricane has not blown us away. We exalt you, Father, Lord God, that monkeypox has not killed us. We thank you, Lord, that COVID has not killed us. We are so grateful, Lord God. We are so grateful to you. We are grateful to you, Lord, for technology. We are grateful to you, Lord God, for advances in healthcare. We are so grateful, Lord, for the vaccines that you have given man. Father, we say thank you because all these things come from you and we don't take them for granted. Lord God, we're praying about the month of August. We're praying that your presence will stay with us this month. We're praying that your grace will stay with us this month. We're praying that your mercy will surpass judgment. Your mercy will prevail in our lives this month in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we pray, Father, that as we go into this month of August, that we'll be doers of your word in the name of Jesus. We will listen to your word and we will do what your word says. We will seek you better. We will know you better in this month of August. Lord, this month of August, you will give us the grace to share your gospel all over the earth in the name of Jesus. This month of August, we will win souls for your kingdom in the name of Jesus. This month of August, Lord, we would experience deliverance, would experience uplifting, would experience good news in the name of Jesus. Lord, this month of August will not be marked for evil in our lives. This month of August will not be marked for sorrow. This month of August will be a month of celebration, will be a month of joy, will be a month of peace, will be a month of advancement in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that this month of August, Lord God, that your joy, your joy will overwhelm us, that your love will capture us, that your peace will know us, your peace will dwell with us. Lord God, we pray for our children in this month of August, that they will know you better, they will seek you better in the name of Jesus. They will not be deceived by the wiles of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Lord God, this month of August, we're praying for peace all over the earth. We're praying for peace on all continents of the earth in the name of Jesus. Lord, this month of August, somebody new will come to your knowledge through PVC in the name of Jesus. This month of August, testimonies will abound in the name of Jesus. August is a month of new beginnings, Father Lord God. We pray that new beginnings begin to find us in Jesus' name. We pray that new things begin to find us in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you open doors of possibilities, doors of opportunities, doors of great expectations in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, this month of August, we will discover our talents, we will discover our purpose in the name of Jesus. Lord, this month of August, Father, Lord God, we pray that you help us to seek you, 
You help us to know you. We pray that you will draw us close to you in Jesus' name. We pray that your grace will follow us. Your mercy will follow us. Your goodness will follow us in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we pray for this month of August that we will not fall into sin. We will not fall into temptation in the name of Jesus. We will not fall this month of August. This month of August, Lord God, we will not backslide. In Jesus' mighty name, this month of August, we are moving forward. We are pressing on to better things. We are pressing on to higher grounds. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father Lord God, because we know that you have heard us. Lord, as we go into the service, we pray that your spirit comes and dwells with us. We pray that your word will capture us. We pray that your word will touch us in the name of Jesus. We pray that the word we will hear today, Lord God, it will help us, it will motivate us in the name of Jesus. We pray that your word will dwell on, in us in Jesus' name. Your word will be as a light unto our feet. It will be as a lamp unto our path in the name of Jesus. We pray for every single person that will be ministering. We ask, Father Lord God, that your spirit falls upon them in the name of Jesus. We pray for that first timer. We pray for that first viewer. We pray, Lord God, that you will touch them in the name of Jesus. They will find that which they seek in Jesus' name. That gap that they have, Lord God, you will feel it in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father Lord God, and we give you praise. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Have a wonderful time, guys. For you are We are and worthy to be praised You are the Lamb upon the throne oh, oh. And all to you I lift my voice And praise you are the Lamb For you are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the upon the throne, yes. And all to you I lift my voice in praise. You are the land. Hey, for you are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb, the Lamb that was slain for the sin of the world. Hey, and Lord, to we lift our voice in praise. You are the Lamb. For you are glorious and worthy, worthy, worthy. You are the Lamb upon the throne. <laughs> For you are the and worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb upon the throne, and I'm doing you. Lift our voice in praise. You are the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. 
Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Hey, that's what the 24 elders in Copayan. Worthy is the your feet oh Lord is the most high place in your presence Lord I seek your face I seek your face I'll go again cause down at your feet, oh, oh is the most ah in your presence, Lord. I seek your face, I seek your face, for there is no higher calling there is no greater honor than to bow and kneel before your throne i'm amazed by your glory and rest by your mercy oh god i to worship you there is no for there is no higher calling there's no greater honor than to bow and kneel before your throne I'm amazed by your glory and by your mercy, oh God, I leave to worship. Victoria is amazed by your glory embraced. By your mercy, oh God, we leave to worship you. PBC is amazed by your glory and grace, by your mercy, oh God, we leave. There I'm amazed ah, by your glory, we're embraced by your mercy. Oh God. To worship you, I leave. To worship you, I leave. I live to worship. Yeah. To worship you, I live. To worship you, I live, I live to worship. To worship you, we live. To worship you, we live, we live to worship. To worship you, we live. 
worship you, we leave, we leave to worship. like you Lord in all the earth much less love and beauty and less nothing in this world will satisfy us Jesus you're the cup that war on dry Cause who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Much less love and beauty and this world. Nothing in this world will satisfy us. Oh, Jesus, you're the cup that will run dry. Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Yeah. Much less love and beauty in this world. Nothing in this world will satisfy us. Jesus, you're the cup that wore on. But your presence is heaven to me. Your presence is heaven to me. Your presence is heaven to me. My Father, Lord, your presence is heaven to me. Lord, your Your presence, oh God, has run no sun among you. Better is one day in your court than a thousand elsewhere. Hey, Lord, your presence is heaven to me. 
Enjoy your presence, God. Dance into the rhythm of your sound. Because <laughs> hey, you delight over us with singing. We enjoy your presence. Oh, dancing, dancing to the rhythm of your love. We're dancing to the rhythm of your love, of your love. Of your love and sing to the rhythm of your love. Dancing, dancing, dancing to the rhythm of your love. Oh, Jesus, where you are is where we want to be. Your presence is everything to us. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. How we love your presence. What a delight your presence is to us, oh God. Bask in the presence of your maker. Exalt you. Cause when the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh, 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 oh. when the glory comes. There'll be no words to say. Oh. oh. (laughs) 
Cause when the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh, when the glory comes, I there'll be no words to say. Ah, <laughs> he leaves us speechless. He leaves us speechless. He leaves us because when the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. kind of speechless I'll be honest <laughs> thank you PBC for this opportunity thank you for the opportunity to join the global prayers God bless you God bless the stewardship the lead stewardship and all the workers and all the volunteers of PBC you will never lose your reward in Jesus name and today we'll be praying we'll continue the prayers for uh, the globe and for different continents today we want to thank God for i want us to thank god for the pacific um, region and for australia and for all the countries around Aus australia in the oceania region i want us to thank god for australia in particular i want us to thank god for new zealand i want us to thank god for vanuatu i want us to thank god for tonga i want us to thank god for samoa i want to thank god for papua new guinea for polo for micronesia for marshall island for Kiribati, for Fiji. I want us to give you God praise. I want us to give God all adoration for Solomon Island. Father, we give you glory. Father, we honor you, Lord Jesus, for all the nations of the world. We thank you because you are faithful. 
we thank you because you are good we thank you for your love over us we thank you for keeping us even in time of covid we thank you oh god for all the victories that you gave us even over covid and even over natural disasters we thank you for keeping us and causing us to enjoy peace as a region we thank you oh god for the new things that you're starting oh god all over the world for the revival that you're starting and thank you jesus because uh, this region will not be left out father we give you glory father we honor you i want us to give god praise for our leaders we thank you lord jesus for our leaders we thank you for our men we thank you for our women we thank you for our children lord we thank you for businesses we thank you god for our policy makers we thank you for politicians father we thank you especially for the children we give you god all the praise we give you all adoration and today i want us to pray i want us to pray for our land and we want to start by praying for our children bible says your children shall be taught of god and great shall be their peace father we declare in the name of jesus that the children in australia that the children in all this region oh god they will be taught of god that god you will fill your hearts with your word in the name of jesus just a little background about australia for example that at the start of australia in 1901 they were about 96 percent christians but now number of christians is about 43.9 percent that's almost half of 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 the population are christians now yeah that's a far cry but we want to pray today that there will be revival in our land that god will touch the heart of christians that god will touch the heart of men god will touch the heart of of of, of, of children of women of the youth in the name of jesus that men and women will return to jesus in the name of jesus father we declare concerning this land that men and women will return to you in the name of jesus that the knowledge of god will fill this land as the waters covers the sea in the name of jesus the power of spiritual indifference the power of darkness is broken over this land bible says arise and shine for the light is come and the glory of god shall be risen upon you father we declare in the name of jesus over this region O oh god that your light would shine in the name of jesus that the power of darkness is broken in the name of jesus you will reign righteousness upon our land in the name of jesus the land will bring forth salvation in the name of jesus men and women will turn to christ we pray that you have mercy upon our land you have mercy upon our leaders that policies makers will turn to the lord in the name of jesus immigrants will turn to the lord youth and 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 people children will turn to the lord in the name of jesus father we pray oh god that people will begin to seek god first and every other thing will be added unto us in the name of jesus we pray for a revival in this land we pray for a revival in this land bible says in the midst of the years there shall be revival that god you will revive the heart oh god of your people again that we will step up that we will step out we will do the will of god in australia in the name of jesus the book of psalm 71 verse 20 says you have made me see many troubles and calamities will 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 come my way but you will revive me again god i pray in the name of jesus that from the depth of the earth oh god you will bring us up again in the name of jesus and we pray that wisdom for our leaders we pray that fruitfulness oh god we break the yoke of poverty oh god in other nations oh god and and also in 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 australia and in new zealand we pray that people will not be cause of wealth turn away from the lord in the name of jesus we pray for our fathers that oh god you will lead them in righteousness we pray for our mothers they will bring forth for righteousness they will walk in holiness they will be good examples to us we pray for our spiritual leaders that you will strengthen them in the name of jesus we pray that you will build your church and the gate of hell will not prevail against it in the name of jesus father we give you glory Father, we thank you, God, because even in Australia, the, 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 the kingdom of God will grow, the church will grow, the people will turn to the Lord, people will love the Lord, people will serve the Lord in the name of Jesus. The church will grow in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you glory because you will cause your light to shine and the power of darkness will be destroyed 
in the name of Jesus. We worship you, O Lord. We thank you. Let us give God praise again. Let us give God all adoration again. Let us give him thanks, O God. Father, we give you thanks for New Zealand. We thank you for Paulo. We thank you, God, for Papua New Guinea. We thank you for Fiji. We thank you for Kiribati. We thank you, O God, for all the nations in the Pacific. We give you all the glory and all adoration, Father. And we say, be thou exalted in Jesus' name. And once again, I want to thank you, PBC. And I want to thank everyone that's taking time to pray today. I pray that God will build you as well. And I pray that you will testify because of this that you are doing today. God bless you indeed in Jesus' name. God bless you, PBC. God bless the leaders. And God bless everyone that's taking time to join us today. I pray that you will be rewarded in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Thank you very much. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace and good tidings unto men. Precious people, welcome to the month of August. This is the month of new beginnings for the PBC Church, but also for everyone watching and viewing us online. Welcome to the month of new beginnings. Can I kick off by declaring over your life that the God of all grace will usher you into a new season of glory, a new season of mercy, a new season of goodness, a new season of favor, a new season of abundance. The God of all grace will be kind, gracious unto you in all things. The God of heaven will bless you with the dew of heaven. The God of heaven will take you from glory to glory. The God of heaven will ensure that he will do a new thing and it will spring forth. People will know that indeed God has visited you this month. I pray that the person that is watching right now, kicking off this month of August, will never be the same person that ends in the month of August. You will be elevated. God will advance you on all sides. You are greatly increased in the name of Jesus. I bring to you announcements. This is not just some fancy words. I am announcing to you what has been settled in heaven, that your life will be better and be blessed in this month of August. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stand upon the authority that is in the name Jesus the Christ, the God who made PBC possible, the God of the redeemed Christian Church of God. That God will bless you. That God will elevate you. That God will satisfy you with favor early in the name of Jesus Christ. Your sun will not go down. Neither will your moon withdraw itself this month. The everlasting hand of God will rest upon you perpetually. Your children are blessed. Your children are preserved. Your children are protected. The works of your hands are established. You will do valiantly through God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, God will make you as a wonder unto many because God will be your strong refuge. We are not talking about repairing or refixing. No, we're talking about renewing, renewing, renewing because this is a month of new beginnings. It's a month of newness. I pray that the new life in Christ begins to manifest itself through you in the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, ma, brother, sister, friend, listen to me. You are blessed in the name of God. You are blessed. You are blessed and that settles it. No one can curse you. Nothing that is not a positive declaration from God can highlight over you. God will make you a rock, a defense. God will make you a case study of what it means for somebody to be blessed. You will live a prevailing life. And it shall be so. The passionate zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform everything that has been announced. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. <sighs> Exciting times we live in. Absolutely, indeed. So we carry on again with the series on the prevailing life. Now, this time around, we're talking about part seven. Part seven. We're about to wrap up this series. Next week, Sunday, will be the conclusion on the series called The Prevailing Life. By the grace of God and through the help of the Holy Spirit, it has been an eight-part series that God will take us through. Next week, Sunday, we'll make it part eight, and that will be the conclusion for now um, on the series on The Prevailing Life. But today, let's go into part seven. Over the last six weeks, we've gone through the first six parts of this series on The Prevailing Life. Of course, by now, if I ask you, you know, to put in the chat box, what is the anchor text of scripture 
from which we've been studying the prevailing life. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to pause and I'm going to see if you know this. So let's see if you know in the chat box, what is the anchor text of scripture that we've been focused on from which this series has been brought forth by the Holy Spirit? What is the anchor text of scripture? Let's see if anyone remembers or if anyone who has been following knows this. Put it in the chat box. Just put it in the chat box. Don't be bashful. Don't feel shy. Let's just see if you've actually been following and if you've actually been seeing what God has been doing. I want to know those who have been actually following this series. What has been the anchor scripture out of which this series was born? Let us know. Let us know. Let us know real quick. I'm going to give you a second. Anybody? Anybody else? Anybody else? Take a stab at it. Yes, indeed. That is correct. It is the book of Matthew chapter 16. Matthew 16 from verses 13 to verse 20. Matthew 16 from verses 13 through to 20. That has been the treasure trove and the, 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 the incredible gem and place of great revelation out of which the spring well that these revelations have been flowing. And they are not just revelations that make us feel happy on Sunday and then we just forget on Sunday. No, we have been getting testimonies. We are still getting testimonies in our respective, you know, social media handles and private boxes of lives. Some of you are actually watching us right now again. Lives that have been transformed by way of this inspired series that was born by the Holy Spirit through His church, PBC. And for that, we want to take a moment and say, Father, we say thank you. We give you all the praise and we give you all the glory for revelations, revelations, revelations that produce transformation in the life of a man and a woman and a person to you, my Lord Jesus Christ, be all the glory forevermore. Amen. Amen. Today we're going into part seven on the series of the prevailing life. And it is a completion of what we started last week. Last week, we started to focusing on uh, the keys to the kingdom, getting the keys to the kingdom as a, a, a step towards living the prevailing life. So I'm going to focus on that same scripture that we started with last week, but just going to, by the grace of God, expand on it further. All right. Matthew 16 and verse 19. Matthew 16 and verse 19 is the anchor scripture for the part seven of the series on the prevailing life, which is a continuation of what we started last week. And that is about receiving and applying the keys to the kingdom. The keys, plural, plural, to the kingdom. Matthew 16, 19, KJV. I would read the word of the Lord. Please follow me. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Mm. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Wow, wow, wow. Whatsoever, whatsoever, whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth, my God, shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever thou shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. I'm sure if you you know, remember what we discussed two weeks ago when we we're talking about being built up by the revelation. We established very quickly that the Lord was not just talking to Peter alone when he said that. You know, he was talking to the body of Christ. We also mentioned this last week as well. So that word, I'm giving you the keys to the kingdom, is not just applicable to Peter, Petros. It's applicable to the ecclesia, the body of Christ, us, you watching, if you are saved. And if you're not saved, we're going to give you an opportunity with great privilege and honor to come to this Jesus, who is the bedrock, Petra, Aya, oh, glory to God, upon which the church is built and the gates of Hades can never prevail against this church. All right, we're going to give you an opportunity to come to that Jesus Christ. He gets us excited in PVC. Jesus Christ is our catalyst. <laughs> he is the one that gives us joy and life. Everything this church is about is laser focused and centered principally on the person of Jesus the Christ. And we have no apologies about that. This is the reality. And by his grace, that's never going to change. He is anchored in our vision. He is anchored in our mission. All right? Blessings to the church of Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
and I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 16, 19, KJV. And whatsoever thou, you, I, we, who are part of this body, who have assigned and ascribed and aligned ourselves to Jesus the Christ, those of us in that category, whatsoever we bind on this special strata shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever we loose in this terrestrial ball shall be loose in heaven. My God, but you cannot bind and loose until you receive the keys, plural, to the kingdom. Now, let's pause for a second. If a kingdom has keys, if a place has keys, if a room has keys, if an apartment has keys, if a house has keys, that tells us something. It is not open and accessible by everybody. Because if it has keys, it follows purely and logically that there must be an exclusive group of people who have the keys that can gain access. If it has keys, it means it is closed to some and not to, it's not open to everybody. Mm, quite amazing. I will give you the keys. So who can get access to these keys? Because if it has keys, it means it is a limited access. It's not everyone who can just walk in and out of this kingdom. No, there is a prerequisite before you can get those keys. And that prerequisite is that you confess Jesus Christ, the king over the kingdom. You know the word kingdom is broken into two. Kingdom, kingdom. The king over a domain. King domain, king's domain is the kingdom. That's the root word for kingdom. So before you get access to the keys that grants you entry into the kingdom, you've got to first acknowledge the king over the kingdom. Only then can you really receive access to those keys. And when you get access to those keys, you can then enter the kingdom. And then when you enter the kingdom, you can live a prevailing life by exercising the authority and the power that comes with receiving those keys. Glory to Jesus forevermore. Glory to Jesus forevermore. I'm going to tell you something very, very amazing real quick. The Bible says in Romans chapter 14, now we're talking about what exactly are these keys? What are these keys that you need to get access to for you to be able to penetrate and gain entry into the kingdom of heaven and live a glorious life with prevailing power? We're going to identify a few of them in today's particular series, in this part seven. We're going to identify a few of them. I'm going to show you a parallel a parallel, a parallel, a recurring parallel through scripture. One of the greatest keys to the kingdom of heaven is righteousness. Let somebody repeat that in the chat box. Righteousness. You can just type right now, hashtag righteousness. Today we're going to do this together with you. Hashtag righteousness, key to the kingdom. Righteousness exalts a nation. But sin is a reproach to any people. Righteousness exalts. It is a key. Kai, it is a key, a key, a brilliant master key for the kingdom of God. Irrefutable, a key. Wherever you see the kingdom of God in scripture, look not too far. You will see righteousness. Wherever you see the king's throne, his establishment over the kingdom mentioned, look no far. You will see righteousness there. Psalms 89 and verse 14, Psalms 89 and verse 14, KJV, the Bible says, Righteousness and justice are the foundational pillars upon which the throne, which is the establishment and the symbol of authority for the kingdom, that is what it is built upon. Righteousness is a key, non-negotiably sacrosanct. Non-negotiably sacrosanct. It is a key that always unlocks the doors to this kingdom of heaven. Romans chapter 14, 17 to 18. Romans chapter 14, 17 to 18. New Living Translation. I'm going to read this particular manuscript. New Living Translation. It says, For the kingdom of God is not a matter of what we eat or drink. KJV says, It's not in food and meat or in drinks and food. But it is in living a life of goodness, righteousness, peace, 
and joy in the Holy Ghost. KJV puts it this way. For the kingdom of God is not in meat and drink and in food, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Show me the kingdom, I will show you righteousness. Show me the kingdom, I will show you righteousness. Show me the kingdom, I will show you righteousness. It is a key. There is no ifs or buts about this. It is a key to this kingdom. Show me the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven, I will show you righteousness. Matthew 6 and verse 33. Matthew 6 and verse 33. The Bible says this. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Ah, Cabera says Cotavia. And his righteousness. And then everything else we seek will begin to chase after you. Show me the kingdom, I will show you righteousness. Show me the kingdom, I will show you righteousness. So it is a key. It is a key. Now, what are some of the other keys that we should focus on very quickly? Another key is peace. How do we know this? Because it is the definition of his kingdom. The Bible says, For unto us a child is born. Mm. For unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Priests. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6 to 7. Prince of Peace is a critical part of his kingdom establishment. As if it was not enough. The very next verse says, And of his kingdom, of his kingdom and the increase of his government, peace, 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 there will be no end. Peace is a key to the kingdom. Little wonder when we were talking about the second step, which is be blessed. When we go to the be attitudes, the be attitudes in the book of Matthew chapter 5. Little wonder that one of the things that was mentioned there is blessed are the peacemakers. Why? Because they will be called children of the king over the kingdom. Like father, like child. Peace is a key in this kingdom. It is non-negotiable. And then joy. Hi. <laughs> joy. With joy we draw from the wells of salvation. The joy of the Lord that strengthens. Mm. The joy of the Lord that grants you an incredible energy that makes you live a prevailing life even in the moments of time when life throws curveballs at you and you're feeling down. You're feeling all sort of downcast and melancholic. You're feeling a little bit overwhelmed. The joy of the Lord strengthens you. It is a key to living a prevailing life. It is a key to this kingdom. I tell you the truth. Now here is the anchor. And I want you to please pay attention to this very, very, very carefully. Righteousness, peace, key number two. Joy, key number three for today's study. That's not where the verse stops. What does it say? It says in the Holy Ghost, my God. He is the one that is the administrator of the key distribution. You cannot live a righteous life without the help of the Holy Spirit. It is not possible. Believe me, I have tried <laughs> and I have failed miserably. Every time you try to do this thing by yourself, by your own works, no. It is by the help of the Holy Spirit. There is a song that we used to sing back in the day. It's not by works of righteousness, but Jesus paid it all. It's not by works of righteousness, that's self-righteousness, but Jesus paid it all. It's not by works of righteousness, but Jesus paid it all. I am complete in Him. Him, meaning the Christ, Jesus, who has then granted us the gift of His Spirit. And because of now that helper, Paracleta, Paracletos, we are able to live a righteous life, a peaceful life, a peace-loving life, and a life that is defined by the joy of the Lord, which is our strength. These things are inside of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Jesus Christ. Now, I'm going to tell you the truth in all sincerity. You cannot have the Holy Spirit resident within you perpetually without first acknowledging Jesus Christ. So you may be watching me and saying right now that, I, I mean, if he, the Holy Spirit, is the one who administers these giftings and these keys and these incredible fruits that, 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 that unlock you know, a prevailing life, I want that Holy Spirit to be with me. 
and to be resident inside of me. That is a good wish, precious one, whoever you are. But you cannot receive the Holy Spirit until you have first received Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. John chapter 3 and verse 3. John chapter 3 and verse 3. We're talking about keys here. Except a man be born again. Jesus answered to Nicodemus, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a man be born again. This is salvation. Receiving Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. That person cannot see the kingdom of God. See the kingdom of God. Two verses later, John chapter 3 and verse 5, it takes it a step further. The first was John 3, 3, cannot see. But John 3, 5 now talks about the one who administers the keys that makes you enter. Except a man be born of water and spirit. This is the Holy Spirit. After you've received Jesus, you cannot get the keys that makes you enter. So you see, before you gain entry, you have to have the Holy Spirit resident in you. Before you have the Holy Spirit resident in you, you have to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. There is no way to jump these steps. Anyone else that tells you anything besides this is not telling you the fullness of the Holy Scripture. Jesus first, the Holy Spirit then, the gift of Christ, and His Spirit, and then He gives you the keys with which you're able to live a prevailing life by getting access into the kingdom of heaven. This is the paradigm, precious one. So if you're here with us, and you would love to receive Jesus Christ, which is the starting point, as your personal Lord and Savior, you don't even yet have a relationship with Him. You've heard of Christ, you've heard of this Jesus, but you don't know who He is personally. You've not really acknowledged Him as your Lord or your Savior. You've lived your life on your own terms. Today is the day of salvation. Now is the day of salvation. This is the appointed time that the Lord has chosen specifically for you who is watching. Or if you're watching and you've lived a little bit of a backslidden life and you want to rededicate your life to Christ, come home, precious one. Come home, my brother and my sister. Please come home. Come to Jesus. Just repeat after me and say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. I thank you for this particular series and this word today that has come forth and that has convicted my heart. I, I am up and down. I am living like a pendulum Christian. I don't even know you at all, but I would love to know you, Jesus. Now I understand that you are the one who gives your Holy Spirit to help me live a prevailing life. And your Holy Spirit gives the keys that then helps us to live the lives of righteousness, peace, joy, and every other thing that constitute the keys to the kingdom. I don't want to leave closed out of the kingdom. I want the keys that will help me unlock the door, which is you that gives me entry into the kingdom. Please come into my heart. I confess that I am a sinner and I acknowledge my wrong. Please come into my heart as my personal Lord and Savior. Teach me how to live this life in righteousness, in peace, in love, and in joy in the Holy Ghost. Please teach me, Lord. Show me the way. Write my name in the book of life and never let me go. I believe that I am saved to the glory of your name, in Jesus' name. Now, if you make that simple declaration and you just made that confession, guess what? Just like that, without having to pay any money, no charge whatsoever, you are saved. You are a believer. You are a Christian. And your life can never remain the same. It's just that simple. Jesus already paid it all. All you have to do is acknowledge that he did and you begin to live a prevailing life. We in the Prevailing and the Borderless Church, we in PBC, we would love to be a part of your journey and we would very much love to be a part of your story. Click on the tab right there and fill in the blank for your salvation experience. All right, we would love to be in the discipleship journey with you. God bless you and welcome home once again, precious one. Keep on having a blast and enjoy the rest of the service, saints of God. And we look forward to the grand conclusion next week on the series on the prevailing life. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. I don't know if you feel as blessed as I do, but I feel incredible. Now, if you have missed any PBC sessions or just want to rewatch, go below. We have our past sessions and catch up. 
It's worth it, I promise you. Now with a cheerful heart, let's go into a session of offering and praise. There's no better way to spend my life No better way to spend my time Forever is your presence our chance Everything that proceeds from here There's no better way to spend my life No better way to spend my time
I'll forever glorify your name. I'll forever magnify your name. I'll forever. Okay, everyone, before I let you go, I do have a few announcements. First off, we have a Bible study for those who want to learn more about the Bible or really just indulge themselves in everything to do with Jesus. We do have something for you. So please join that, join us. We would love that. Um, of course, Jesus loves you. And follow us on socials, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. And as always, have an incredible week. I will see you next time. Thank you so much. On Christ alone, our chief cornerstone, no other foundation can we build upon. Not philosophy, nor the wisdom of man, all other ground is sinking sand. Upon this rock you build your church, and the gates of hell will not When we bind and loose, we proclaim your truth, and in Jesus' name, we will not fail, never Captivity captive, it is finished. Oh, he gave us our keys, his authority. Now we are joined.
confident. 